The standards analysis report shows student performance by standard for institutions, teachers, students, and subgroups. This report shows current year data. To view the standards analysis report, start on the home page. Locate the My Classroom section. Select your desired class and click on Reports. Next, click on the desired assessment. From the Test Summary Report page, click on Standards Analysis and you will be taken to the Standards Analysis Report. The standards performance chart shows a bar for each standard along with the average score. Hover above a bar to see the standard description and the average score by standard. The number of test questions aligned to each standard is also shown. If you would prefer to view by high performance or low performance, click on the arrow next to the word standard and select Performance High or Performance Low. Notice that the color coding for the chart is located below the chart itself. Red signifies unsatisfactory performance, orange indicates needs improvement, and green signifies satisfactory. Located below the chart is the performance comparison by district, student, school, and subgroup. The table shows the number of students who took the test, the average score overall, and the average score for each standard. In parentheses, the total points achieved and the total points possible are shown. To get the average score for any piece of data, divide the total points earned by the total points possible. For instance, if we look at the first standard, we would see that 2,574 points were earned out of a total 17,172 points. This is at the district level. If we divide 2,574 by 17,172, our average score is a 15%. The number next to the standard is the number of questions that are aligned with that standard. For our first standard, there is one question aligned. For our second standard, there are four items aligned. And for the third standard, we'll see that there are two items aligned. You can continue scrolling right to view additional data. Remember, anything that is blue is a clickable link. To view a student's profile, click on the student's name. Please note that this will open in a new tab. To get back to the report, simply click on the first tab. If you'd like to view school data, click on the name of the school, and the same data is presented but at the school level. At the bottom of the page in the chart, you will see any teachers from the school that are giving that assessment. In our example, we only have one demo teacher who gave the test. If we wanted to explore Demo Teachers 2's data, we would simply click on the arrow to the left of their name, and then click on the icon next to the section name. If the teacher had more than one section, each section would be listed below. When you click on the icon, it does take you to data just for that class. Please note that you can view the data by subgroup as well. Your subgroup chart shows the number of students in each subgroup and the average score for each of the subgroups. You may click on the number of students to see individual data. The color coding for the subgroups is the same as it is for all students. You can also export this report by clicking the blue Export to Excel. This can be done at the section level, the school level, or the district level. 
When you click Export to Excel, you will find the downloaded report in multiple locations. It will show up at the bottom of your screen where you can open it, or you can find it in your downloads. In the next video, we will explore the Item Analysis Report. Thanks for watching.